Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor. We are going to begin with the imperiled nomination of Brett Kavanaugh. The president said today, just a short time ago, he could withdraw his nomination to the Supreme Court, Kavanaugh's, if the president decides accusations of drunken sexual misconduct are true. At the same time, at a late afternoon news conference here in New York, the president called the accusations, quote, a big fat con job by the Democrats. Kavanaugh and his first accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, are scheduled to testify tomorrow before the Senate Judiciary Committee, and the president said he will be watching. Uh, here was President Trump at a solo news conference that went for an hour and 20 minutes. He had very strong words for Democrats. They're actually con artists because they know how quality this man is, and they've destroyed a man's reputation, and they want to destroy it even more. And I think people are going to see that in the midterms, what they've done to this family, what they've done to these children, these beautiful children of his, and what they've done to his wife. And they know it's a big, fat con job. So it wouldn't have mattered if the FBI came back with the cleanest score, and you understand that very well, John, if they would have come back with the most perfect, we found everything and he's perfectly innocent of everything. It wouldn't have made a difference. You wouldn't have gotten one vote. Are you saying that all three of those women are liars? This is one of the highest quality people that I've ever met. And everybody that knows him says the same thing. And these are all false to me. These are false accusations in certain cases. In certain cases, even the media agrees with that. 36 years, no charge, no nothing. But, but that, Everybody, that, that happens often. I mean, people are going to have to make a decision. Weijia Jiang was at that news conference here in New York. We just, so did the president shift his position uh, on Kavanaugh? Well, Jeff, the president's official position on this has evolved since the allegations first surfaced. And this evening, he said he believes the allegations are probably false, but he wants to hear from Kavanaugh's accusers. He wants them to have a chance to tell their stories. Here's what he said about tomorrow's hearing. They're giving the women a major chance to speak. Now, it's possible I'll hear that and I'll say, hey, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to see what happens tomorrow. I'm going to be watching. You know, believe it or not, I'm going to see what's said. So it's, it's possible that they will be convincing. It sounds like what you're saying is there is a situation, there is a scenario under which you would withdraw Brett Kavanaugh's nomination. Is that correct? If I thought, he was, about if I thought he was guilty of something like this, yeah, sure. All right, uh, Weijia, as we continue here, you were also able to ask the president uh, some questions about the same subject. Uh, talk about that a little bit, if you could. Yeah, we had a pretty lengthy exchange because at first he was not answering the question, uh, and I was trying to understand how his personal experience being accused of sexual misconduct by more than a dozen women have shaped his opinions about Kavanaugh's uh, accusers and how these allegations are being handled. And here's what he said about that. Well, I've had numerous accusations about me. Right. They, I mean, they made false statements about me, knowing they were false. I never met them. I never met these people. Okay? If I could just actually ask ahead, my question, please. Mr. Trump. I, you didn't let me ask my question. Well, you, you've my been question asking was, a question for 10 no, minutes. Sorry, please sit question. down. Please, I'm go ahead. You, how go ahead. did those impact your opinions on the allegations against Well, it does George impact George my Kavanaugh. opinion. You know why? Because I've had a lot of false charges made against me. I'm a very famous person, unfortunately. I've been a famous person for a long time. But I've had a lot of false charges made against me, really false charges. I know friends that have had false charges. People want fame. They want money. They want whatever. So when I see it, I, I view it differently than somebody sitting home watching television where they say, oh, Judge Kavanaugh, this or that. It's happened to me many times. I've had many false charges. So when you say, does it affect me in terms of my thinking with respect to Judge Kavanaugh? Absolutely, because I've had it many times. 
And so it also seems that an attack on Judge Brett Kavanaugh is an attack on President Trump. At least that's how he perceives it. Although we should say that he again says he's very interested to hearing what happens tomorrow and added, Jeff, that he could be swayed to change his mind about the women accusing his Supreme Court nominee. Jeff? We appreciate you standing up and finishing that question. So thank you very much for that.